then if there was more blessing boxes that were small in lots of places, that would make a bigger impact even than just putting a bigger blessing box somewhere. Hope. These are really cool things. Blessing boxes. They're helping out people right here in the Brazos Valley. KRHD reporter Diamond Dixon is showing us how those boxes are supplying more than just everyday items. A blessing box. Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. One local woman here in Bryan is creating boxes filled with blessings, helping those in need. It's a way to kind of help and give back, and especially to your neighbors, to kind of say, hey, I'm there. And it's not just about giving food and toiletries away, it's also about giving, we give away encouragement cards. Dr. Heidi Campbell is a local community member in Bryan and a professor at Texas A&M University. She says it's more than just providing non-perishable items. I was writing about 40 cards a, a month, um, and we couldn't keep them stopped. And so people not just need help and resources, they need um, they need positivity, they need hope, and that's what these are all about. Dr. Campbell upcycles materials from Facebook Marketplace and local thrift stores to make the blessing boxes. I got these all off Facebook Marketplace and thrift shops, and I reconditioned them, and then I put the call out on Facebook and a couple groups I'm a part of just to say, hey, come join me, you know, and encouraging people to adopt a blessing box. One local business in Bryan found Dr. Campbell through a Facebook group. I found her on Facebook and, and I, it was such a great thing. I mean, it's so simple, something so small. She made it easy to, you know, she drops it off. She helps you fill it if you need. And it's just, it's an easy way to give back. Dr. Campbell says this is just one small way to make a big impact. Filling a, a bread box or, or a mailbox isn't overwhelming, you know, and keeping an eye on it. And so it's like, hey, you can make a difference and I will do go the first step of kind of getting it to you. Then you just have to go the second step of, you know, keeping it going. Caroline Purser says with the Bell Bond office being located on a busy street, the box can not only be seen by many, but also help many. A lot of homeless people, plus the Greyhound station, people get dropped off over there sometimes two, three o'clock in the morning and the bus station's closed. So they're walking around. They don't know where to go or anything. And that box, if they walk by, that might make a big difference. If you are interested in adopting a blessing box just like this one, you can find Dr. Campbell's information at carehdnews.com. And Brian Diamond Dixon, CareHD News.